Okay, so welcome to another episode of Wade Booster Box Opening. Today we have the newest set, Evolving Skies. I did a video re reviewing the top 10 most expensive cards. Go check that out. But uh, that video still holds true. The biggest hitters are still the biggest headers. And today I'm going to be doing another experiment to see if the boxes are weighable. In my last video on Chilling Rain, I kind of proved it, but uh, the results were inconclusive. I had a bunch of hits that I was able to scout with the varying weights, and I opened 10 Ultra Rares in a row, I believe. So this time, let's see if that's still the case. I don't believe you can weigh modern Pokemon cards, but we shall find out. Tonight, we open one of these. So let's just admire a brand new booster box right off the bat. You can see the Pokemon logo, which is a white powder you can rub off. And uh, the box is featuring Sylveon, Umbreon, Rayquaza, and Duraludon. And in the set, we have a lot of hits. I really think this is the best set in Sword and Shield up to date. Better than Vivid Voltage, better than Chilling Rain, better than Battle Styles. Basically, it eclipses all of the other sets by a mile. Not even close. The part that everybody hates. Of what you're here for. The weighing. Twenty two fifty. So I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to weigh every pack and put them in different weight classifications. So hopefully all of the similar packs have the same type of cards in them. That way we can potentially scout which are hits, which are not hits. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. So it looks like the pack ranges from 22.3 grams to 22.55 grams. There's about 0 0.20 of a difference, which is significant because a hollow card typically weighs point one zero grams more than a non foil card. So after weighing all 36 packs, we have four different piles emerging. So we have in the different weight classifications, there's four piles. Okay, so this is the lightest packs. They weigh about 22.35. Uh, this is the next highest. It's 22.4. And this is the most, 22.5. And this is 22.55. So if we take a look at this, what can, we, what can we guess? If I had to take a guess, I would say either these or these are the hollows. And these would be the duds, where you just get a regular rare. And these could be hollows or it could be ultra rares, who knows. And this one, this one's strange because... Never mind. Not strange. Okay. So we're going to begin with a light pack. This weighs in at... Let's just take a look. 22.35 roughly so this is again the lightest pack pack range my guess is that this is either a hollow or ultra rare um if weighing works if it doesn't good because honestly weighing is a, a detriment i guess or is it
Obebe, Corvana, Dwebble, Mareep, Drowsy, Skip Plume, and a Hollow, Regagalecki. Regagalecki. All right. See, I think I've, I'm on to something here. Let's see if it's true. Skip Plume again? What? All right. So for our first hit, Regagalecki, it is from a light pack. So if we use logic, like last time, right, I would, I would predict that all of these are hollow rares. And uh, let's test this. Oh, before we do that, right, let's weigh the individual cards because, you know, in order to test a hypothesis, we need to understand why this works. So a hollow rare card, 1.88 grams. A regular card, 1.82 grams. Oh, well. That doesn't really work, does it? And finally, the white code card is 1.23. Let's remember that. That information is important. All right, next up, Sylveon pack. C dot slack off Lebebe Carvana Wubble Aroma Lady Gyarados V Gyarados V Okay, not bad. Gyarados V weighs in at one point nine two. Code card 1.23 again. Okay, okay. Might be on to something here. Alright, let's take a look at the highest weights. Because I think these are the duds. Let's take a look. This is 22.57. So this is the highest weight in the box. But what does it mean? Munchan, Lotad, Sableye, Tayursa, Mareep, Toycatcher, and Milotic. This is the rare. Okay. And then it's a green code card. So my hypothesis was on point, I believe. The white code card is 1.43. Just to prove it. So a green code card is 20 grams higher than a white code card. So that would mean what? Any math people in here? If the difference between a white code card and a green code card is 20, no, 0.2 grams, and the difference between a A hollow and non-hollow is about 0.1 grams. It would mean that the lighter packs have the hits. So this would mean this entire pile are all of our hits, and the rest of these are non-hits. That's my guess. So let's open the rest of these to see what we get. Hey, welcome. This is 22.36. So this should be a hollow or better because it's a light pack. That eh, white code card, you know what that means. Slack off. Petalil. Really cute Pikachu. Pumpkaboo. Rufflet. Scrafty and a Florgis hollow rare. 
So like I said, by doing this, we can pretty much identify the hits. All of the hits are here. Are you telling me there's only six hits in this box? That would be truly awful. This one's 22.38. They've made these packs really well. It's really hard to open. Oh, white code card. See? Easy. Easy peasy scout. Scout. All of the hits. The Ursa. Cryagonal. Nicket. The Webble. Rufflet. Ebus. Articuno. Galarian. Okay. So I think I'm onto something here. The Howl hits are the lightest packs. And honestly, nobody cares. So there's three more Howl hits in these packs because I was able to identify the weight classification. This is, uh, this is how you weigh a booster box. It's really easy, to be honest. You know, so much for not being able to weigh a box. See? White code card. Easy. Bagon. Wubat. Simple. Psyduck. Eevee. This one's nice. You can see a Rayquaza in the back. Lantern. All right. Our first Eeveelution. Espeon V. Any Espeon fans out there? Okay, so first couple of packs, right? The heavy one, the heavy pack, nothing. The light packs, all hits. What does that tell you? It tells you that all of the light packs have something. All the heavy packs, probably nothing. White code card again. See, hypothesis was correct. Emolga, Slackoth, Gossifler, Love Disc, Letchling, Reverse Pyroar, and Victini. Hollow. So again, the light packs. Hollow or better. It's not a coincidence that all of the light packs are hollow or better. It's not a coincidence. It's because weighing works. Okay. White code card. Again. Easy. Slacking as a hollow. Okay. So now that we've gotten that out of the way. I think we've scouted uh, all of the light packs. There were six of them. And all six of them had a hollow or a V card. So now we're going to move on to the next weight classification, which is this. 22.4 to 22.45, roughly. And to be a little bit more precise, I will re-weigh re the stack just to see where these things lie so we can get an even better result. Okay, so this is 22.38. Kind of strange because this one, this one is not like the others.
White code card. I really think this one has something good potential. Let's do a stupid hat trick. Four to the back. Energy. Drafty. Snow Leaf Badge. Hippo Don. Lit Leo. Low Tad. Lady Ursa. Diagonal. Nicket. And it's a Garbodor. Not. Look at that ugly Garbodor. It's literally a trash Pokemon. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. <sighs> All right, next one up, 22.41. So, so far, I think I've opened almost all light packs, and all of them had a hit. Pokemon, if you're watching this, it just means you guys haven't done a good enough job controlling the weight. It makes it way too easy. Way too easy, see? 22.42, I believe. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, hit my own tap. Lit little Pika. Pump the boo. Copycat and another hollow. More shadow. Where are the ultra rares, man? Twenty-two point four three. Ay 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 ay. Another white code card, 22.43. What a surprise. Not a surprise. All right, let's just skip right into it, shall we? It's another, it's another V. It's a Suicune V this time. Pretty off-center. It's okay. Ultra rare is an ultra rare. My biggest fear is there is no secret rare. There's uh That will be the biggest slap in the face. Imagine opening two boxes and both didn't have secret rare. These are hits. The ultra rares are the hits. Hollow hits are hits. But, but honestly, nobody cares about those. People only want secret rares, people only want the alternate art. Because those are where the money cards are. Another white code card, what a surprise. Alright, let's let's speed this up. What is it? What is it? Oh man. Golurk V. Another card that nobody wants. Golurk. You know, if I got a Golurk alternate art, I would be pretty sad. Nobody wants those. Alright, next up, 22.44. There's only three, three left. If there's no hits in here. My god, you're killing me. Like the stock market. Oh snap, this is a green code card. That means there's nothing in here. Oh boy. Alright, so uh, I think the show is probably over. Which means these are probably duds. Oh, that's, that's pathetic. This box sucks. No secret rare, no alt art. It's another green. God damn it. I think we ran out of hits. That's what I said last time. That they would have a secret rare in in one of the the bulk weights. But that wasn't true. This was 
So it did have a white code card. The hell is this? Arctovish V. Bruh. So far, five V cards, and only one of them is an Eevee. Imagine having a set full of ev evolutions and you only get one. How is that possible? I have six hollow rares and five ultra rares, which means that's already 11. Wait, no, six, six plus six. That's 12 already. That's 12 out of 36. Normally, 12 out of 36 is the number of hits you're supposed to get from a box. So, at this point, you know, it would be very unwise to, to open the rest of these just to see if you have a secret rare or not. But, you know, we open for content. Just to confirm, none of these have a, a hit. I paid 126 for this box. It's from Game Nerds. Nothing. Junk. That was heavy. 23.53. This should also be junk. All of these should be junk. I'm opening up 24 packs of junk. That's how stupid this is. Junk. Green. Horrible. This box, the expected value, well, the EV's already down the drain because my best hits weren't even hits. The fact that I'm opening all this is to show you guys how stupid this is. If you can identify which packs have the hits, why even bother opening the rest of this? It's all junk. Look. It's so obvious. All of these are junk. And I'm opening it because I'm so mad that another box contains absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Local man goes mad. Oh, this is a white co-card. What? Okay. I do feel a little bit better because the the V Max was in the weird weight, uh, the one where with the the odd um, weight range. A little bit better, but not not too much. Gyarados V Max. Let's see how how much does this weigh. Interesting. It weighs. Two grams. That's a lot heavier than your regular V, which is 1.93. So that would explain why it's in the heavy pile instead of the light pile. So your V maxes conceal themselves in the dud packs. That's that's just interesting, I guess. <laughs> so that means there might be something good in the rest of this gigantic stack. It's a big if. Anyway, again, most of the times a VMAX only appears once or twice in a box. And this is green, junk. What do we have? Wishy washy, junk. Green code card. Appleton. Junk. Not very good. So just like last time on the Chilling Rain opening, I was able to identify all of the V cards. I was able to identify all of the hollow cards. And just like last time, the V Max was hidden in this gigantic stack of duds. Except this time. Will I not get a secret rare yet again? That is the question. Feels bad. Green code card. Treasure energy reverse and a gigalith. 
Omega Lol. This one's 23.46. This is on the lighter side. It could be it could be an ultra rare. Or it could be a dud. It's a dud. Sharpedo yet again. Twenty two point five one. Okay, back to raging. So like I said, this entire stack has absolutely no hits left. This is absolutely disgusting. Imagining opening a box and you can identify the hits so easily with the remaining packs being absolutely worthless cards. As I'm opening each pack, I'm losing value. Why should anyone open a box? Please tell me when all of these are junk. Can somebody tell me why I'm doing this? I want to understand why don't why doesn't Pokemon guarantee you to get a secret rare from box? Ah, shoot! I should have weighed this. It's a white code card this time. Please be a secret rare. Pika, Pumpkaboo, Rufflet, Lotad, Emoga, Draggy. It's a Dragazult Vmax. My thoughts exactly. What what is this? What is the what is the drag result? Where are my EVs, man? Not one EV was had that day. Green, we get it. So again, out of the two big stacks, that is where you find the VMAX. But is that really worth it? Just to find a VMAX? I still have no idea where where the secret and the alternate art cards are. Oh, I like this wild effect. Anyway, green. <laughs> Sag. Twenty two point nine. Again. What have we learned? We learned that out of a box you typically get two V Maxes and as fate would have it. I get no secret rare. This is twice in a row, two boxes where there's no secret rare. Absolutely disgusting. Why would anyone their mind spend over $144 to get zero value from opening a box? Gambler's fallacy. Green yet again. At this point, you know, there's no point in showing you the duds. They're all duds. Green again. Oh my god. Three left. No secret rare. Absolutely horrific. Nobody should ever open a booster box. Green yet again. Pins are rare. Oh my god. The green cannot have a secret rare. It's literally impossible. Green! Of course it is. Last pack. 22.47. Let's hope. Let's hope this is different from the rest. Nope. It's all the same. Absolutely horrible. Absolutely not worth $140 retail. So what have I learned today? Again, these boxes are pure gambling. 
Okay. Except you can weigh the packs, find out which ones have the V's, the hollows, and then the rest of them, all 24 of them remaining, have nothing. Unless you're fishing for two remaining V maxes, which isn't worth 24 packs, believe me. This is a disaster. Absolutely horrible. So to recap, we got one, two, three, four, five, six hollows, four, uh, six hollows, and then six ultra rares. Only one of them being a v EV, but by the way, and then two ultra, ultra rare V Max cards, the Gyarados and the Dracozolt. Fourteen hits out of thirty-six. It's about a third of the box. And no secret rare, no alternate art. Yet again. I am so tilted right now. This is twice in a row that I get nothing from opening these stupid boxes. Unbelievable. Expected value from opening a Pokemon box is less than half. So hopefully one of these days I get a box that actually has a secret rare, so I know how much it weighs, because it would make this so much easier. But twice in a row, I've not gotten a secret rare, so I don't know how much those are supposed to weigh. It's twice in a row now. Mm. Mm. Horrible. Alright, that's it for today's stream. Hope you enjoyed Local Man Going Mad. Because he couldn't get a secret rare. But um, hopefully my next box will have something good. Because this is, this is a disaster. Alright, until next time. Peace.